Hi lovely friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy you're here as well. YouTube does let me know that I have quite a few people that watch my videos that are not subscribed. And this is my invitation to you today that I would love to have you join me here and become part of the most lovely, kind, supportive women you will find on the internet. That is how I describe my subscribers because it is absolutely true. So we would love to have you join us here. Okay, so I'm so excited. In today's video, I have a Walmart spring shirt haul to share with you. We all know that Walmart has incredibly affordable prices, which we love. And you can find here on YouTube so many YouTubers finding incredible pieces that they've purchased from Walmart. And I have to be honest with you, I never find any of those pieces in my Walmart store. But when you shop on Walmart online, it's a horse of a different color. You can find all kinds of things there. So I did place an order. I have seven tops to show you today. And instead of doing like the unboxing portion type of this, of this video, I'm gonna just jump into the fun part and get right to the try on and I can describe all the pieces as I am wearing them. So why don't we go ahead and get started and I am going to try on seven different spring tops from Walmart for you. Okay friends, this is the first top I have to show you. And I have made it known that I am searching for a classic white button down shirt. And when I was online at Walmart, looking through all the tops, this came up and it is a Martha Stewart top, which I had no idea that Martha Stewart even made clothing, but apparently she does. And when I thought about it, I always see Martha Stewart, I think like in a crisp white button down shirt. So I thought maybe this is what I'm looking for. And it said in the description, it was 100% cotton. And I was like, oh, this, maybe this is the, the shirt. So I went ahead and ordered it. And I think from, you know, from looking at it in the camera viewfinder, I mean, it looks like your classic white button down shirt. But this shirt is actually, it's probably not even going to be able to pick up getting this close to the camera, but this is, feels like a t-shirt. This is like t-shirt material. It is 100% cotton, but it is not that crisp fabric that you're used to seeing in white button down shirts. This is exactly t-shirt material. So a little bit of different twist on the classic white button down. But I think it's really kind of cute and I think the fit is actually nice. I like it and I'll show you the back, the fit. I think it is kind of a cute white button down shirt. Now, because it's the t-shirt material, I don't think it's quite as dressy as a, like, you know, the type of shirt that I thought I was looking for, which I think I still am looking for that type of top. But I was so pleasantly surprised on how comfortable this is and the fit of this. And I think it's just a really, really cute top. So I don't think it's terribly see-through. I just have a nude bra on underneath it. And I like that because I probably would not want to have to wear a nude cami under this. So I think it's good as far as being not too see-through. I've rolled up the cuff. Um, I am tall. If you're new here, I am 5'9". And, you know, my extremities are very long. So you can see the sleeve length not you know really long on me so i would probably wear it rolled up either just once or a couple of times but that really doesn't seem to bother me and i think it's really a really cute top so let me show you what it looks like untucked so you can get an idea of the length but this is the length untucked So overall, I'm really um, pleasantly surprised with this, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it just because I like how unique it is. So this is the first one to show you, and I'll be right back with the next. Okay, here is the next top I have for you. 
and this is a free assembly camp shirt and I've got, I ordered this in a size large and for one I'm thinking I could possibly size down. I think the impression that the free assembly brand on Walmart is very similar in sizing to the free people brand and we kind of know that free people tends to be oversized and I'm wondering if that's the case with the free assembly because I think this size large is is pretty roomy but get closer so you can see the pattern it's just a navy with like little cream like de swirl designs and dots and whatever and it's got the you know um the button down the little collar it's really cute it's very drapey for those of you who have watched my channel for any length of time know that I do not like clingy tops. I'm large chested and I always feel really self-conscious if things are too tight around my chest. So I prefer like the drapey fit, but I think that this might even be just a little too drapey. Like I think I could definitely size down in this one. But overall, I think this is a really cute style. This I love. For you ladies that like to cover your arms, which I have the chubby upper arms, so I completely understand that. And it's a nice long short sleeve. It doesn't cut you like at the heaviest part of your upper arm, so that's a really good feature about this top. And I think it's very forgiving, just the, the drape of it. The I think it's just one of those nicely skimming fabrics where it's not hugging to the parts that you don't want to um, show to people so I do like that so let me show you the length untucked and then you can kind of get an idea too on why I think this might be just a little a little too large but like I said I'm very short-waisted although I'm 5'9 all my height is in my legs so this is not a really long top if you happen to be long-waisted this you know could be lingering on the crop territory for you for me it does kind of work like you can see the the rise of my jeans is here so it's not it's not really that long of a top so I did want to let you know with that but generally I do think it's cute and I may th see if I can size down to a medium but really a cute top hey friends I have the next top on for you and this is another one of the free assembly camp shirts. And I go back on what I said about being oversized because this is a size large and this one fits me a lot better than the blue one that I just had on. So go figure. It's not always the way with, with uh, you know, shirts in the same line. They can be completely different sizes when they're just the same shirt in a different color sometimes. So anyways, this is that same exact brand, but this large, I think you can see, fits me a whole lot better than the blue one that I just had on. But it's a little wrinkled because, you know, I just took these out of the packages. But it's really cute, the little... Um, off-white color with the little black polka dots and this is supposed to lay down this part of the collar here and the little buttons down and I just think it's so like drapey and I love this kind of fit where it just doesn't hug the spots I don't want to hug so this is a really an adorable top right now I've got it paired with a pair of Liverpool black skinny pants but I mean wouldn't this be cute with a black skirt and even in the summertime like a pair of black shorts would be adorable so I think this is a really cute little top I'll probably do the front tuck if you like that look with it um, I just think this is adorable I love this top I love how it fits Another great thing about for the spring and the summertime, it does not come up like right underneath your armpits, which a lot of button down shirts do for me. They come up tight and then I just feel so incredibly hot. I don't like that feeling. So this is really like loose under your armpits. The sleeves are not tight uh, up against my chubby upper arms. 
I think it hits at a good place. So I just think this is so adorable. Okay, friends, here we are with the next top. And this is another one of the free assembly ones. And oh my gosh, I just love this color. Is this not the prettiest like sage green? I just love it. It is so pretty. Okay, so this I actually sized down to a medium. And the reason I did that is that if you watched um, my most recent trunk club video, there was a light blue top, the same type of style that was completely oversized and voluminous. And I liked, I think I would like it smaller. And so I didn't want the huge fit with this top. So I decided to go ahead and size down to a medium, which I think was the right decision because I think this fits perfectly fine. It's still flowy and drapey, but it is definitely not, you know, that you could fit three people inside of it. So it's got the little tie at the neckline, which I really like this style. I always tend to leave these opened and I just think it's cute. I know a lot of people, they are, you know, the, the strings drive them crazy, but I think it's really cute. The only problem I'm running into with this top, and it's gonna give me some thought because I do love the color of it so much, is the elastic, and maybe it's just because I have like thicker arms, this is really tight right here. I mean, you can already start to see it give me a mark. It kind of fits in a weird spot. Like I, maybe it's because my arms are longer. For you shorter gals, it might come like past your elbow, which down here, it fits okay. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe I've got it up too high. Maybe if I leave it there, does that look funny with this length? Because it feels a whole lot more comfortable down here. When I had it up on the chubby portion of my arm, it was so tight. But if that looks okay, this this, this will make this top a keeper then. But just that nice drapey fabric. And like I said, I just love the color. Right now I've just got it paired with a pair of Vigos Distress Jeans, but I can, completely see this with like a pair of white jeans in the summer or even a pair of little white shorts I think would be so cute. So this I am really loving. I think this is a great find. So really excited about this top and this is, and now that I've moved the sleeves down like past my elbow and it doesn't feel like it's cutting off my circulation, I think this will definitely be a keeper. So really, really cute top. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, I still got a couple more to go and I will be right back. Okay friends, I've got the next top on here for you and this is another free assembly t-shirt. Apparently I was really drawn to all the free assembly pieces. So this is just a navy and this is just absolutely regular t-shirt material feel like you're used to but i thought on the picture online what would make this look just a little more elevated than a regular tee were the, pu the puffy sleeves but what's so funny about this is that um usually with my chubby upper arms I never have things like being too big, but let me see if you can see with this elastic here. I mean, the, the elastic around the sleeves is hanging. I, I think it's supposed to be at least fitted to your arm. So they're actually big, the, sleep, the puffy sleeves. And other than that, I mean, it is pretty short waisted because you can see, all right, these are high rise jeans that I've got on. They come up right over or actually these are mid-rise sorry these are mid-rise pair of jeans and you can see the top pulled down this is not that much longer so it's it's you know bordering on crop i would say especially if you happen to be long-waisted so i think just the fit of this it just doesn't do much for me I was hoping that the little puffy sleeves would be like a cute detail for a t-shirt, but um, a lot of the time too, and the crew neck is, is pretty high. I tend to like gravitate towards V-necks because I feel like it's much more flattering on me. Like, I don't know, I don't think this um, crew neck is doing much for me either. So the fact that the sleeve, the elastic around the sleeves is really big, it's just kind of boxy 
and I don't know if it's just really, this one's not doing too much for me. Okay, friends, I am back, and guess what? I have a shirt on that is not a free assembly. This is actually a time and true. And I thought this color was so pretty online. I don't know, what would you call it? Like a, a salmon or a coral? It's just, I thought it was so pretty. And I'll get a little closer. You can see it's kind of like um, that Swiss dot, I guess is what you would call this, if you can see on the sleeves. And it does have like the elastic here. This elastic does not feel like it's cutting off my <laughs> circulation, so that is a good thing. And it definitely, the elastic on this one, I think is definitely supposed to be above your elbow, and it does feel comfortable, so that's a good thing. And I guess this is like, um, I don't know, do they call this like the baby doll style? I think that's what they used to call it, where it doesn't really have a defined waist, it's kind of flowy. It does have the button in the little um, keyhole in the back. Um, and I have got it paired on with some white distressed skinny jeans, which is how I thought I would probably wear this in the summertime. Um, this is going to be really telling when I get to watch the footage of this because I don't know how flattering this style is on me, although I see this on other women and I just I love it. So um, I'm gonna kind of do a side view to see because sometimes I think with my larger chest, it just kind of makes me look like I have a really big belly with all the, you know, the flowy fabric. So this will be really telling when I can see the side view to see how it looks. Um, like that but otherwise I think this is such a sweet little top um, I really think the large is fine I don't think I would want to size down to a medium especially with the elastic issue on my arms I think a medium would be really tight there but I think this is really adorable and it will really um, determine on after watching the footage whether I think it's flattering on but what do you think? Do you like this style? I think it is so cute on the hanger and on models and, and in a minute I will know whether I like it on myself or not. Okay, I have got one final top for you so I will be right This is another free assembly and this is just, I wanted to try just like a basic t-shirt and this is really cute um i hope the camera's picking up because it's really faint the color it's like a really light lime green and white stripe and it's got the cute little scoop neck i'll step back so you can see i mean the length is not super long it has two kind of little slits on the sides um, right now I've just got it left oh, I've got it left out and this is a size large which I don't think I would want to size down to a medium because I think it would be um, really clingy across my chest if I did size down so just the large and I think this is a great little basic t-shirt that I mean let's be realistic this is the type of thing that I wear every day in the summer um, this or tank tops, you know, shorts when you're just doing things around the house, you just want casual, you want easy, and th this would fit that. So I think it's a really cute little t-shirt. Um, now this makes me want to try some other um, a free assembly top, like t-shirts to see how they would fit. And maybe they have um, different colors that I could try this in as well. But it's super soft. I look, I really like the scoop neck. I like the color. So I think this is a no-brainer that I will probably end up keeping this little t-shirt as well. So I am back friends and Walmart has really stepped up their fashion game. And my advice to you would be don't judge the Walmart clothes by the ones that you only see in their store because like I said earlier, I don't think any of the things that I ordered I have ever seen inside the Walmart store. So I guess you really do have to order things online and we know how that goes because when you can't see it in person and judge how it might fit, you know, you might end up having to return some things. But anyways, 
I am sad to report that after seeing the footage of myself in this adorable top, it just does not look flattering on me. I think because of my large chest, the way it just makes it kind of blouse out, it just it doesn't look good. And I envy you ladies that wear this and you look amazing because I, I want to be able to wear that style because I think it looks so good on so many of you. But sadly, I just don't think I can pull it off. But if you can pull it off, this is a really adorable top. And these little free assembly um, camp shirts, Although we know the sizes can vary drastically between, you know, one, you know, pattern and another, I think these are super cute and I will be looking into more colors of these. But overall, I think I'm going to be coming away with some really cute tops for spring and summer and I am just all about spring right now. I'm so excited for the warmer weather and to be just shedding these sweaters and heavy clothes that we've been wearing for so long. So I do want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you know how much I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye.